Tip number 16 is uh, about alcohol and counting your drinks. The thing that most people don't understand is the amount of kilojoules that are contained in alcoholic beverages. For foods like carbohydrates, your pasta, your rice, your potatoes, and protein foods, your meat and your legumes, there's about 16 to 17 kilojoules for each gram in those foods. For fat, it's 37 kilojoules for each gram. With alcohol, it's 29 kilojoules for each gram of alcohol in your standard drink. So a standard drink would be 10 grams of alcohol, so there's automatically 290 kilojoules coming from just the alcohol that's contained in your beverage. If your drink of choice is beer, you'd have carbohydrate on top of that, adding to the amount of kilojoules in that drink. For example, something like three large beers can be almost up over 2,000 kilojoules, adding quite a bit of energy to your daily intake. The problem for most of us is that we don't know how to pour a standard drink. We pour much larger serves, particularly when we're drinking at home or amongst friends. When we drink in excess, fragile nutrients like vitamin B are washed out of our body's system and we need to replace those in our, in our diet. One of the other problems and side effects of drinking too much alcohol is sheer dehydration. So making sure that we mix our drinks with water or soda water to make sure we're hydrating our body properly. The interesting thing that we know about alcohol is that small amounts of consumption are actually protective for our health. So if you are a regular but just moderate consumer of alcohol, around one drink with two alcohol-free days during the week, you're actually protected by that food. That food can actually help protect your heart and is quite healthful.